Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dean's Farewell Gala Concert and for those of you who are going to it, to the dinner as well. I'm Guy Noble, your host for the evening and former student of this very place. And in my day, it had nothing of the energy that it has now. You know when Bob Carr, the uh, former Premier, in fact, I can't remember how many former Premiers ago he was, because there have been so many of them, um, he said at the reopening of this building that it was the best conservatorium in the world. Well, the building might be, but what, it's, it's what goes on inside it that counts. It's the software of the building. And that's where I think the Dean has been instrumental, if I can use that word, in putting the place on the map. Now outside, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit like the ALP conference, isn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> now the weather is miserable outside, as if it's joining in at the sadness at the end of Kim Walker's tenure of the Dean, but tonight is all about the celebration of the last eight remarkable years. And to begin those celebrations, you please welcome to the stage the Governor, Her Excellency, Marie Bashir. Good evening all, Professor Kim Walker, Dean of this superb conservatorium, Dr Michael Spence, Vice-Chancellor of the University of Sydney, and so many distinguished guests and friends here tonight. It is truly a privilege to join you all this evening for the Dean's Gala Concert and Farewell Concert and I know that many of us gather here tonight with mixed emotions. Emotions of sadness, but also of considerable appreciation for Dean Professor Walker's contribution leading this historic and beloved institution. From the stables of Governor Macquarie around 200 years ago, this site has been a centre of superb musical education whose destiny has been charted by fine leaders. And Professor Kim Walker has followed and contributed to that tradition, a tradition in which young musical scholars have reached heights of excellence in musical performance, composition and leadership, both nationally and internationally. Sir Charles McCarris and Barry Tuck will come immediately to mind as classmates of myself indeed, because I feel both proud and humble in asserting these words of praise, for I have had the privilege of learning here at the Conservatorium as a child and adolescent student in the days of Edgar Bainton and Sir Eugene Goosens, and have seen the heights of musical enrichment which have continued from then till this day, till the era of Dean Walker. Tonight's range of performers here in Verbruggen Hall and later during dinner will provide more eloquent testimony for our gratitude. We can be heartened in the knowledge that Professor Walker's great musical skills as a bassoonist will continue to be heard in our city and beyond. Her significant contribution and steadfast encouragement to heights of excellence amongst the young people here will always be remembered with gratitude and our good wishes will be with her always. Thank you, Kim. And so to our first performers. Um, in fact, we begin with a new work especially composed for the Dean's Farewell and performed by the Tecla Quartet and bassoonist Tony Liu. It's called The Lied Ona Vorta, or The Song Without Words, composed by Jonathan Murray. Would you please welcome the Tecla Quartet and Tony Liu. <laughs>